Now a 404 error page is what happens whenever your visitor enters an incorrect URL. Maybe through misspelling or they were given the incorrect URL to begin with or whatever the case is, they are not where they want to be and you are on the verge of losing that, that visitor which may end up hopefully becoming a customer. So what you want to do is ideally keep that visitor around a little bit longer by creating a customized 404 error page so they're not just given a blank white page uh, you may have seen it before where it says something up here like sorry link broken or it might be an icon or a box from Google saying oops link broken your URL request does not exist or something like that and in my case here with this particular site they're actually directed off-site to Yahoo which says this is a 404 well here let me just show you because I can assure you that, that page does not exist on my server and they're directed to a Yahoo and this is all done inside of a patch or inside of the uh, cPanel control panel beyond where I'm going to take you so that it's actually redirected to Yahoo and that's something that can be changed what it says here is sorry the page you're looking for could not be found because it does not exist but it gives you other options here in either case though you are getting closer and closer to using to losing that visitor and of course potential customer so let's customize this now there's a few ways in which you can customize the experience your lost visitors will encounter one is through cPanel control panel that's what we're going to tackle first now this is version 11 a newer version of cPanel control panel and it looks similar to this in which case you would want to scroll down to where you will see an icon that looks just like this one here and if you have not customized your cPanel control panel then it's going to be the last box titled advanced and then you just click on this and it brings you to a page like this. Now and if you are using an older version, not too much, but an older version of cPanel control panel, I believe it's version 10 or version X, then you, it's going to look like this and this is the page you want to click on or the link you want to click on. And it'll bring you to this page. Now then the customization process will be exactly the same no matter, no matter which customized page you want to create. We're just going to be going for the 404 error page. Now, if you decide to do the same thing for your 403, 401, 400, 500, and so on, then you might want to consider the verbiage on your customized error page. In this case, we're going to be saying something to the effect of, hey, sorry, you're lost, or basically referring to the fact that they're on the wrong page. Likewise, if you wanted to make another customized page for your 403 visitors, then you might want to say something to the effect of, hey, I don't know how you got here, but uh, you're not supposed to be here, or you're not authorized, or you get the idea. So make it specific to that particular error page. In our case, we're just going to be basically the page you're looking for is not where you thought it was. Again, you get the idea. The process is basically the same no matter whether it's cPanel 10 or cPanel 11. If we click on this, it'll bring you to a page that looks just like this. Now you've got some options you can work with here. And when you get to this page here, you'll be presented with some tags you can put in here. We wanted to show your lost visitor how they got here, the referring URL, you can put this tag in here. So you can kind of see that these tags will make it more of a customized feel for that particular individual. Now then what you can do and what I suggest you do is go to your HTML editor like go oh, front page, composer, Dreamweaver, whatever the case, and create your page. And you can put these links in there or these tags in the appropriate places. For example, let me see if I can squeeze this down a bit here. This is just a 404 custom page that I put together. Again, it's just for example purposes, but you can put something in here where it says, oh, uh, let me see here. I'm just going to copy this code. Come on back to my editor. And I just put that there as a placeholder so I come into the source code here. I look for all those V's, which is right here. And I'm just going to highlight those and replace them with the code that I got from the C panel, control panel here. Now, then, uh, what we can then do is simply go here and copy all the source code from here I only want the, the stuff in between the body tags I don't want all this other stuff here so right here where it says table I'll hold my shift key down one down here and just above the closing body tag 
I don't need that break, but right here, all this stuff here, I'll just copy that, pull them back up here, and don't need any of that, right click, and paste. Come on down here, and click on save. So that's one way in which you can do that. Come on back here, and type in something that does not exist, and this is what pops up. Our 404 customized page. So you can see it worked perfectly. So that's one way in which you can create a 404 customized page. And again, we use the version 11, I'm sorry, version 10 of cPanel to do that. The same exact process can take place with version 11. Come on down here. After we choose the URL or the domain, if you've got several domains or subdomains within your particular hosting account, make your selection there. Then you come on down here to step two and you choose the error page you're wanting to customize. And if you want to see what all the other ones are, yeah, you're more than, wel more than welcome to. This will only work on the 400s and the 500s. The 300s and so on, uh, you have no control over as far as I know. And if you do, well, that's way beyond the pay grades of this video. So we go ahead and click on here. And you can see similarly, we've got these tags we can insert and you got a little more customization you can work with here, but what we would do is just go ahead and insert all the stuff that we did on the other page, the HTML source code from our customized error page here, everything in between the body tags, the closing and opening body tags, again, just we did before, copy. Again, we don't want the above the opening body tags or below the closing body tags, just everything in between, the guts, if you will. So then we come on back here. Okay, so we're going to use our keyboard shortcuts. That's hold the control key down on our keyboard and hit the letter V as in Victor. And that pastes all the goodies in there. Come on down here to click on save. And the 404 error page was saved. And we can either go back to editing it or we can just go on back to our main page where we originated from here. Now let's head on over here and see what happens when we enter a an incorrect URL. Hit enter and here we go. And again too, I use the same tag from the version 10 cPanel control panel here. Yeah, I didn't make any changes there. You saw live folks. So it works here as well. So that is one way in which you can create a customized 404 page in both cPanel 10 and cPanel 11. Let me show you another way in which you can do this. And this involves an HT access file. So if, if you do not have access to a cPanel control panel, then this is another alternative. You simply log into your FTP account, like thus, and you want to create an HT access file. And what we want to do here, this is just a text document on your desktop somewhere. Just open up your blank notepad. And if you've got your text document open, what you want to do is just enter this. And that's it. Error document, no space, error document space 404 space forward slash not found dot HTML. So really this can be anything. This name right here is the name of the document you're going to create. For example, here we would simply name this page right here. We would name this not found dot HTML. Okay. As a matter of fact, I believe I've got this currently saved as 404 error dash example shown right here. Okay, so you can actually use this name or not found or whatever name you want, Joe's Bar and Grill, whatever you want to name it. Uh, of course, you want to put the .html in there or .htm or .php, whatever. But you want to make sure that this name corresponds to the name that you have in here because basically you're just telling your Apache server that if there's an error document generated that would send somebody to a 404 page instead of sending them there you want to send them here so again don't forget error document space 404 space this so now then what you want to do is you want to say this as HT access htaccess.txt. Then we're going to upload this to our root directory and just uh, right click and then left click on upload. 
Now it's not an actual HT access file just yet. Okay, it's right here. It's a text document. So let's make this an HT access by selecting it, give it a second, and then selecting it again. And then I want to get rid of the .txt. And then at the very beginning of it, just put a period. Now then we have a .ht access. And basically this is just an invisible file that nobody can see. I mean, you can see it if you have it configured that way on your FTP account. Now then, in this particular FTP account, I can view and edit on the fly. And this is uh, Qt FTP, by the way. So I'm going to right click here. Come on down here to edit. And you see right here, the name of that file that I need to redirect to my customized 404 error page is called notfound.html. I'm going to close this out. Now then, right here it is, notfound.html. Yeah, it's like I've already done this before. So let me just show you what happens if we refresh this page now. Bing, there we go. And you can see the title of it there, but this is the actual page right here. And that's it. That's another way in which you can create your customized 404 error page by using HD access and of course the other two ways is by using cPanel that being one is cPanel 10 and the other being cPanel 11. So hopefully this is going to get your lost visitors to stay on your site and hopefully become a paying customer rather than them coming up here and hitting the back arrow button and going on to somebody else's site maybe your competitors and being their paid customer. We don't want that do we? Thank you very much for watching this video. You have a great day.